Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you Sheep Sheep. <laughs> and Sheep Sheep is a very nice arcade game that you can bet on which sheep eats first the grass. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's very useless casino, I guess, and it's a little bit funny, but I thought involving mobs, it's time to involve mobs again in casino machines. And this is my turn on it. Yeah, as you can see here, we have five different colored sheeps. We have red, lime, yellow, magenta and blue and whichever of those sheep gets hungry the first will be your winning sheep and hopefully you bet on this sheep so and if you wonder who suggested this video it was rt it was me <laughs> so this time thanks again to me <laughs> no just kidding uh, thanks to all my patreon supporters thanks to all the commenters thanks to all the suggestors and of course thanks to you dear viewer thank you for watching so if you really love my content, make sure to subscribe and also to become a Patreon member on patreon.com slash rtsworld. So let's dive into the video. First of all, the structuring. It will be circuit time in the first part of this video. It's not a very complicated machine, but it's a ton of fun and a ton of fun to build. It doesn't matter if you build it in survival Minecraft or multiplayer Minecraft. You cannot build it exactly like it is here in Bedrock. You have to like differentiate between those sticky piston pulse shorteners in java and the comparator based ones in bedrock but other than that perfectly fine across all minecraft versions okay how does this machine work and afterwards we will build it together and i will show the material lists but now how does it work and how do you play it first of all we select a sheep select a green one then they would get moved over by one block and now if the green sheep eats the green grass beneath it first, we will win a netherite ingot. And the netherite is right beneath here. So we have here also some barrier blocks. Yeah, I did not want to do that. Very sorry for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, the blue sheep eats first. So the machine resets and we win absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's a pity. But that's how the machine works. That's how it's designed to. And since grass has to grow in... Um, yeah, we need to basically speed this process up for this video, but usually that's a slight uh, disadvantage of this machine. That's why you want to maybe have two or three of them sitting around. Um, you have to wait until an item despawns, which takes five minutes and that ensures that all the blocks are grown in. In this video, we can do it very easily by alternating the tick speed for a short amount of time and then basically, yeah, filling in the grass with random tick speed. Then we can collect this item here, like it despawned basically now after a certain amount of time and the machine reset itself and we can play again. But how does this machine work? So let's dive deeper into it. If you go to the item selectors, we have here five different item filters, all configured 100% the same. We have some profit chests beneath. So you can also see the distribution of which seep is your favorite, is the favorite amongst your player base. And then we just go through this uh, retractable piston block into, oh, it's very tight here, into a T flip flop with two droppers. So we just move an item from right to left. And if we do so, we do it irreversibly only once. You can, of course, if you're two players, put in two diamonds on like two sheeps simultaneously, like this one. I think that should work. Yeah, it should work. You can bet on two sheeps at once. That's keep it in mind as a casino owner. So maybe don't put an item in that is five diamonds worth 100% of the time because otherwise they will rip you off. Maybe it's better to, instead of a netherite ingot to just present the player with, I don't know, three diamonds or yeah, three or four diamonds uh, basically if they win because otherwise they will just rip you off if you have, for example, netherite ingot there. That's a very bad example. <laughs> And now, yeah, the whole machine got shifted via these pistons here on the sides with the green and the magenta circuit. And now if one of the sheep eats, the eating, here this red, no, which one starts to eat? Yeah, let's go back. Uh, the eating will get picked up by this observer row here. They detect the grass. So let's see which one eats. Yeah, the most outer one ate. We did not bet on the most outer one, so we won nothing, of course. And now the lamps are still on and as long as they are on you cannot play because there's the item in there and yeah let's go a little bit more into the details so this t flip flop is then with the sheep that you selected you select this blue column here which is represented right here and we have the brown 
side with the observers that just send a three pulse tick, a three tick pulse <laughs> into this redstone torch. And if you have, if it happens that you selected the sheep and also the um, the sheep eats the block first, we will close this end gate. We have two depowered torches. We would have depowered the redstone dust, therefore powering this torch. And if we do it for any of those end gates, we can uh, follow this line here and we follow it and we follow it and we get to our dispenser here, which, uh, sorry, dropper here, which uh, gets us the netherite. So let's just speed the process up once more. Is the grass already grown in? Nope. 3003. Uh, and it's also important, it doesn't matter if the sheep eat their block they're standing on, only the block right next to them is important. Like the block, if you if you elongate those uh, stripes, only that grass block is important. The other ones are just there to make it grow faster. <laughs> Okay, let's collect the block there again. So what happens if you selected something, you just also power this green line. The green line sends a two tick pulse upwards, just shifts everything to the right. And if we do so, each sheep is on the right slot and above the right grass block. Therefore, the sheep can eat it and the casino can detect it. Um, what happens also is we also depower this redstone torch that retracts all those pistons. So if we select, for example, the red sheep, we cannot select any other sheep. If we now start to select like, don't know, green, yellow, what, whatsoever, nothing will happen. I don't know why I got a netherite ingot though. What did I do? <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. Um, I will check that out afterwards. But basically you can just uh, select any of the sheeps, but not as soon as you started playing. And yeah, what's also now the case is that here with those blue lines, we also extend the buff and to the front. So we have the lamps, of course. And now the, yeah, now some sheep ate the grass already. I think it was not the red, it was not the red one. Okay, yeah, that's basically it. Now we have only the reset circuit left. Uh, as soon as we trigger the brown circuit, we also light this lamp here, which is picked up by another observer powering this line, sending a pulse into the this pistons, pushing everything back to the left where it started. And we also triggered this end gate here. Ah, uh, this, uh, sorry, this T flip flop. Then this T flip flop will power this dropper. It will distribute one item in here. And as soon as the item despawns, we will put the T flip flop in the original state. And we also reset all the selected uh, droppers here and we put down everything here again. So if I collect it, as you see, everything is reset and we can go again. So let's do it one more time before we start with the block by block tutorial. Let's do yellow this time. Oh, it did not even grow back, which is a pity since I did not start. Yeah, because the problem is if that now grows in, it also counts as the sheep eating it and yellow will win, <laughs> as you saw here. So that's why there's a five minute timer. That's why uh, you need to wait for this machine, unfortunately. Uh, because the grass has to grow in. Otherwise, if there's no grass, then if it grows in, that slot wins also because the observer detects growing and eating the grass Yeah, the same way. Okay, but uh, now let's get into the block-by-block -block tutorial. So welcome to the block by block tutorial. And yeah, this time we're gonna start again with a fresh setup here with a platform 13 by seven. And the eighth block would be this wall and the seventh block already is this diamond encasing here. And I did not want to pre-build this stuff. Okay, make sure to pre-build it. There we have some slabs. Here we just have a glass block and beneath this glass block, we just have a dropper. And as you see by now, the dropper is just here with a glass block on top. And the filling of this dropper is just some whatever. Maybe some maybe some diamond blocks, I don't know. You can you can put in there whatever price you like. So um, now let's focus here on those slabs. There are slabs beneath. And how do you get in the sheep? Um, basically, we have here alternating glass blocks then these uh, three opened fence gates, glass blocks, fence gates, glass blocks, fence gates, glass blocks, fence gates, and so on. And after you did that, you just press shift and 
shift click a, a, sh a sheep in there with a spawn egg or if you're in survival you just have to get in them in there you die them you put a glass front uh, uh, in front of them and then we have uh, from the back we have this sh this um, basically everything shifted to the left of course if we shift that to the right the sheep are on their corresponding color as you can see here make sure to build it basically the wrong way now it's like shifted one block to the left the sheep will all shift one block to the right if the pistons that we built in right here will extend one block in this direction that's why i build it like this and then we need to observe the block the sheep are standing on and we have just some glass here that the grass can grow inside just alternating then we also gonna need some um sea lanterns here and here we're gonna need another row of pistons okay that's it that's the piston setup done and now we can start already with the hoppers so we know that right in front of this um, block we have the hoppers that we need to install like this then we have to get in a chest like that and now we can start already building I have so little redstone prepared here that's also a repeater I want to have a comparator and a redstone torch which is also not in my inventory perfect okay then we need to use 19 18 items three secret named put in three diamonds and the third one should be already in the chest okay then we're gonna do two tick repeater two tick repeater and we're gonna do a sticky piston that looks like this and then we're gonna need a redstone lamp where are they they are here and place them right here and then we need some more observers placing them like that placing them like that and now we can get ourselves some quartz slabs like this and here we're gonna place a repeater and we're gonna place in two like this okay that's already nice so next up we're gonna place in here a block a dropper another dropper in the first dropper we just place in any old item like that one then we have uh, redstone dust with another redstone dust like this then we're gonna grab a comparator that comparator leads into this block which leads into that torch which leads into that one and now we're gonna need some brown wool redstone dust repeater set to three ticks another redstone torch and here we can already close the end gate like this and for this end gate closure we want to grab ourselves another redstone dust like that okay for the magenta wool we now need to cover all those observers here on, uh, like that and we also want to make sure to block out like this go all the way to the front and make sure at the point where the redstone torches we can put a repeater above it so it won't trigger it of course okay then we're gonna need a uh, green wool of course but before we're gonna do the green wool let's just copy that module over four more times okay now that everything is copied it should look like this somewhat and yeah we can remove that block of course that's an extra one and now it is time for the green circuit tree and the green one is a huge end gate of all of those here so just place in that end gate like this go to the front and here we just gonna grab some redstone dust and at some point we just want to have here a repeater we also want to have here a repeater here a repeater set to two ticks and we're gonna need some sticky pistons like this here we have a torch come on where are my torches um then we have another repeater here oh no we can do it very smoothly by adding here this thing 
and then we just hook right into this line here maybe like this so all the piston should extend now and then place in redstone dust yeah, now we just gonna add that like this okay for the orange circuit it's not that hard we just want to put a repeater in here another piece of wool and then we just bring it over right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen perfect okay that's also working out and now the last thing we want to add is our reset circuit and the reset circuit is just um is that yeah we can do it like that that reset track circuit is just what the hell am i doing it's just here sorry so it's like this just the repeater set to four ticks then we go into this uh sticky piston into this piston here then we're gonna have dropper here we're gonna remove it another dropper we need a purple and here we just use any old item okay next up we're gonna need some more magenta a comparator a dropper filled with whatever you want and now the important part is that you get a pressure plate in like this then we can now get down we need some glass from the front to surround it and also if you're putting it playing it on the server make really sure to so nobody can get that item like i did in the preview so nobody can mess around with your system so do it like this so encase it of course very very meticulously okay then we're gonna need a piston 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 like this a repeater set to two ticks and yeah from here on we just gonna go in here and we also of course wanna go up here do we have a delay there no we don't okay if we don't have a delay there honestly we can also use some glass a purple one like this and do it way easier like that okay that's the machine done and now it's time to test it let's test the machine so let's go for the yellow sheep come on you can do it yellow sheep do it yellow one do it and as we see here now we have this torch selected for our end gate do we have already a hungry sheep in front Oh my god, it eats. <laughs> and we get our diamond block. Perfect, perfect. How lucky do you have to be? I mean, it's one in five, obviously. But very, very lucky. So let's get the item here. Just remove it once more. And let's get the blue one, for example. Let's go. Let's check out what happens next. Come on, blue sheep, you can do it. And yeah, of course, if you put in your like an Optifine mod with the glass, it's way fanc fancier, of course, but I did not do it yet. So come on, let's eat. Someone hungry? There's so much juicy grass in there. Oh no, the purple one eats. So we get nothing, of course. So yeah, as we get nothing, let's uh, set the random tick speed to 3000. Let's put it to three again. Let's collect the item back. Let's place back in the red uh, glass uh, cage and yeah that's basically it that's how it works and i hope you have fun building and playing this machine i know it's a bit slow but i think it's still a ton of fun on a multiplayer server of course as always there is a world download link in the video description and if you really like this video make sure to subscribe and become a patreon member i will see you in the next video bye bye